In this data set, we have 100 individuals from two groups A and B. And for each of these individuals, we've measured a number of properties recording values V1, V2, V5, V6, V9. And we wish to see if these values here are predictive of which group the individual would be found. And in a later analysis, we have found that variable V1 does not have any predictive properties, but together V2, V5, V6, V9 do predict to a certain extent which group an individual will fall into. And we have combined the results of V2, V5, V6 and V9 to produce a probability variable EPRO1. We now wish to represent graphically the relative predictive probabilities of V1 and EPRO1. And to do that, we will use an ROC curve and we will identify the two variables that we're testing, V1 and EPRO1. We wish to test their ability to predict the particular group that the individuals are in. And we will identify one state variable as A. We will display the ROC curve together with a di diagonal reference line and press OK. The ROC curve shows the ability of the particular variable to predict which group an individual is in. In predicting a particular state, we would like the probability of a true positive to be 1, which is the sensitivity of the measurement, but we would also like the probability of a false positive to be close to 0, which is equal to 1 minus the specificity. So we want a 1 on the y-axis and a 0 on the x-axis so we would like the data to reach this top left hand corner for an ideal test. So now if we look at our two lines, EPRO1, the green line, approaches this top left hand corner and shows good prediction capabilities. However, V1 just sits on the diagonal line, which shows that the probability of true and false probabilities is the same along the curve. We can further quantify the prediction capability by looking at the area under the curves. This is the area to the bottom right of each curve. And for EPR1, this is 0.922, which is very close to 1, showing that the area left here between the curve and the top left-hand corner is less than 10% whereas V1 shows an area to the bottom right of about 50%, 0.531, which shows that it has no real predictability at all.